In this video, I'm going to talk about conversation transcript within Microsoft Copilot Studio. Now, what is a conversation transcript? Now, conversation transcript is basically a chat happening between uh, a user and an agent. Now, basically, it's uh, it's kind of a, like a, uh, a text-based uh, content which gets shared between user and agent when they uh, get engaged within the conversation. Now, when uh, a chat is triggered, uh, there are some responses flowing from agent and there are some questions raised by the users, okay? Now, what happens in this entire transaction is that when the transaction gets completed or the chat is completed, there is no way for you to retrieve back the chat. So once you close the browser, all the information is lost. Now, how do you extract those information if you want to see what was conversed between the agent and the user? Now, there is a table in Dataverse named as conversation transcript. Now, what that table does, it stores the conversation transcript details. It stores the conversation text in a JSON format. Uh, it stores the conversation start time. Along with that, it stores some metadata for the bot conversation. Now, this is a sample conversation, which you can see on the left hand side. One is uh, the conversation happening uh, when you are testing the application and on the right hand side you'll see that a bot is published to a demo website and then from that point onwards the conversation uh, is like uh, it, it, it basically it occurs between the users and an agent okay now all this information will get stored in a backend table called as conversation transcript table now this table, as you see in the description, it says it contains the transcripts of conversation between the participants, such as customers, virtual agents, or human agents. Now it stores all the information like the GUID of the bot, the GUID of the transaction, uh, and in the content column, uh, it stores the actual JSON value of the conversation. Now this is an important column. So if whenever you want to extract the transcript details for any of the chat session, you can do that. You, if you query the correct table and the correct row, then you should be able to view the conversation information. Now, what does this conversation contains? Now, if you closely look into the activities table over here, as you see over here, uh, there is, uh, it's a JSON file. Basically, it's a JSON format and it will store information like uh, activities, value type as conversation info, type as trace, and uh, it will also give you information about the, what is the design mode, is the design mode true, what is the locale, what is the ID, and then from this point onwards here, the actual transaction starts, right? So when the bot is triggered, uh, these are the set of information which gets displayed to the end user and then based on users conversation further more information will be stored right so this all information is stored in the form of a json file format now there is an another column called as metadata in the uh, uh, in the table now that metadata contains uh, information about what was the bot id from where does that bot id uh, it's been hosted like from a what is the AAD Azure Active Directory tenant ID and what is the name of the bot so this name indicates the schema name of the bot so if you want to extract all those vital information then you can go ahead and query the conversation transcript table and you can extract this information now there is a security role within uh, the copilot studio it's named as bot transcript viewer now if you closely watch the bot transcript viewer uh, uh, security role then you should be able to see uh, that this particular security role is uh, role privileges cannot be adjusted due to its non-customizable nature so you cannot customize it it uh, basically gives a permission to the conversation transcript table and from a read perspective like from the read privileges it is at a user level okay so user can see the conversation if the user has assigned a role of bot transcript viewer so let me jump into the demo so here as you see this is one of the bot which i have created it is named as Kirish expense claim assistance now 
I am doing, uh, I'm initiating a chat. I can even restart the chat. So here I'm rest restarting the chat and I'll go ahead and start asking for some information. So I'll just say, uh, how can I uh, claim the expense? So this is just like one sort of uh, communication which is happening uh, between the user and the bot and all this information gets stored in the backend table. Now the backend table name, uh, which I mentioned is called as a conversation uh, transcript table. So how to find that? If you navigate to make.powerapps.com, so I'm over here. If I go into the tables, then under all, I will just type in conversation or maybe if I just type in transcript, then I should be able to see this table and the conversation transcript table is the table which will store all this information. Now, uh, name is the GUID uh, content. This is where the actual conversation gets stored. Okay, so if you closely watch this uh, JSON object over here, so let me copy this JSON object and let me open it in Visual Studio Code. And if I just click on format document, so this is how uh, the table looks, the code looks like. Now, what it contains, it contains uh, an activities node and the activity node has various items in it. So there are basically, uh, if you see here, there are like multiple items under activities node. Now the first item is the value type. Okay, so that's about the conversation info. Uh, then the second, uh, Brace uh, contains information about the GUID, which talks about the event. Now the event name is start the conversation, so start conversation. And then from that point onwards, here you will see uh, all the uh, uh, the text for the transcript. Now this is the text which was uh, triggered. So hello, uh, I'm Girish Expense Claim Assistant. So like this here, you can see uh, if there are any attachments involved in it, what is the text format, what is the channel ID, uh, and then in the next node here you will find some more information on dialog tracing okay now if you expand in another node over here here you will see session info so value type of the session info what was the type uh, what was the start time what is the end time uh, what was the type so all this information can be extracted now this i have extracted from this just one node and this is like per session based right so this is about when the conversation started. So conversation started on the 25th of the 6th. Now, what I can do, I can just uh, put put a sort order of uh, descending, and then I will be able to see what happened on the 5th of the 7th, okay? So if I just copy this, so this is the recent chat which I have uh, been engaged with the co-pilot. So I'll just replace all this thing and I'll just call it format document. And here you will actually see what happened in the chat, right? So, so you see all this information um, on that same, in the same format. Okay. So if you see here, this is about the text. Okay. And then, then there are like other information which gets passed on to the co-pilot. Uh, so these all informations are rendered over here. Now, if I again go back to the table and if I copy uh, the information over here for the second item I can just override this information and then see right click format document and then here I can see some more information with regards to the co-pilot now this is not specific to one bot but there are multiple bots involved in it so I've created a lot of bots over here and I've tested it in the interim and uh, if you want to see it is coming from which bot you just scroll down uh, scroll across and then here uh, in the column you can select the bot conversation transcript conversation transcript uh, and then there are other columns as well so let me select the bot conversation transcript conversation transcript uh, and then if you want to check status you can put that as well and i'll click on save now if you just scroll down here you will see bot conversation transcript will show you which co-pilot 
this row item belongs to so now the first one belonged to july 1 copilot second belong to girish claim assistance so like this now if i again do a sort on the descending for the conversation start time so let me do a conversation start time descending then here i can see what all conversation has been triggered so far okay and if i want to see some more information about how many transactions occurred uh, since I started working on Copilot. Here you will see a whole bunch of information related to all the Copilot. So if you see from this table perspective, I have triggered more than six or seven Copilot, and that's why here you will see different different Copilot transcript details. Okay. Now, so there are multiple ways through which if you want to extract the transcript. Now, what is a transcript? Transcript is basically the conversation which is happening between the agent and the user. Now, if you want to get this information, you can directly go here and extract this information. However, there are multiple other ways through which you can get the information. One is by going into the Azure portal and finding out the user information. Okay, so as a part of the GDPR policy, if you want to extract all the information related to a specific user, you can do that. And then for that, you need to go to the Azure route. But in this particular video, I'm just focused on uh, how to extract it from a uh, dataverse perspective and that's why uh, this table is pretty much important for us to know now from a security role perspective what happens is whenever you share this copilot so if i share this copilot so what happens is uh, you when you share a copilot you need to specify the name so if i put say name as adele and now here i will be able to see what kind of role adele has now adele has a transcript viewer role and uh, from a security role perspective it is called as copilot transcript viewer now what this role is so if you want to see what this role is you need to navigate to your specific environment so i'm going into the girish preview us environment and i'll click on settings and from here if i navigate to the security roles then i should be able to see the transcript bot transcript viewer okay so if i just type transcript i should be able to see bot transcript viewer rule and if i navigate to the bot transcript viewer rule again here you will see it is pointing to a custom table which is a conversation transcript and the rule or the privilege uh, read privilege is assigned at a user level for this bot transcript viewer so this is again pointing to that same table so if you are part of bot transcript viewer rule then you will have a right to view the conversation transcript related to your own record only okay so this is how basically the conversation transcript table operates so that's it folks thanks for watching